In this video, I wanna to talk to you about a double check and the new rule change when you're installing a double check backflow assembly. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. This channel is all about irrigation installation and repair. So consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. That way you don't miss any tips. Now I've done several videos about how to install a double check backflow assembly here in the state of Texas the right way. Now there's been a rule change and it's been a pretty big rule change. You can still do a double check, but you no longer have to put a Y strainer in front of it. And if you're wondering about these new rule changes, I haven't seen them yet. You can go to the TCEQ website and look up the rules. You're gonna to wanna to go to the irrigation and then the backflow assembly rule area. And the particular rule that it's talking about backflows, look at 344.50, that's the rule. And if I'm wrong in that guys and you find it, let me know in the description or in the comments we want to make sure we get this right. We want to make sure we get out the right information. So what you're going to be able to do now, this is a one inch. You could take a one inch, 12 inch nipple and go straight into this and no longer have to have that Y strainer right here. Now you're still going to need to have some, some type of shut off before the double check. So you're going to want to have a ball valve or isolation valve of some sort before the double check after the water meter or after your other cross connection, your tie in of your main water line, but you don't have to have that Y strainer. Now my recommendation is to always talk to your local inspectors and your local people. Go over the rule with them. If your city allows using double checks as your backflow preventer, your backflow prevention device, then talk to them and make sure that y'all are on the same page that you no longer have to use this Y strainer. Now, can you still use a Y strainer before your double check backflow? Absolutely, you still can do that, but it's not in the rules and it's not necessary anymore. But I would recommend talking to your inspector before you go do it and install it wrong and they still wanna see that Y strainer. The state will put out these rules, but what a city is allowed to do, they have to meet those rule requirements, but they are allowed to go above and beyond the state rules here in the state of Texas. And so they, a, a city and a city inspector might still want you to have that Y strainer before that double check. And so that's why you always wanna make sure and you wanna check with them before you install anything. I think it's a good thing to have a Y strainer here. It keeps things out of the check valves, making sure that these check valves are working properly. But it was just one more thing you had to do, more parts and things like that. So this is gonna help with our installation, make it easier, make it simpler, and more cost effective. If you haven't seen any of our other videos about how to install a double check backflow preventer, and really doing it the right way, check out these videos. But now when you watch those, you're gonna see a Y strainer. You may not have to do that now.